So here is my brand new to me Gilburn Invader vintage 1971. As you can see it's been shall we say in storage for a long time and it's a bit of a blank canvas as far as I'm concerned but it's kind of all there as far as a blank canvas can be so for example missing an engine gearbox and a dashboard but uh, a lot of the interior is present shall we say including the back seats that are kind of impressive in their way and the rear window which is currently not fitted is nevertheless there it's not as small as I was thinking it was going to be four meters long and fitted with a three liter SX V6 and amazingly with 165 by 15 tires 165 is just amazingly small by modern standards so uh, yeah something of a blank canvas for me lots of promise lots of ability to be built up into something really quite good right so here I am clearing out the uh, Gilbert Invader and so far I've managed to fill up two dustbins one and a half dustbins full of old carpet and sound deadening I've been using this uh, here it is, this Bosch multi-tool, which uh, if it was charged up right now, it's doing a good job of removing all the felt and so on from inside the, uh, the body, which is making it a lot cleaner. I've also been on the, uh, on the phone to the uh, secretary of the Gilburn Owners Club, which has been quite uh, illuminating, so I've got places to go and things to discuss with them but it sounds like I've made a fairly good start. Anyway I'm going to continue to remove more bits of rubbish out of the inside of the car and when the battery is charged up you'll be seeing this thing in action some more. Here we are, just leave you running there because uh, it's not going to be very interesting every moment. Not a continuous, a continuous commentary from me, but uh, just the occasional one I can then edit down. This stuff is stuck amazingly well. major issue to remove and they pass directly through the carpet and the underfelt so that's going to be problematic. I think it might be time to get a vacuum cleaner out. Get rid of all the loose stuff. So where is there it is. It's the faithful Henry. one of the best things about fiberglass car is there's absolutely no rust in the body anyway so none of what's coming up is rust it's just felt dirt dust bits of carpet and so on that's not to say there isn't any rust in here at all because there is the chassis has got some rust on it which will have to be dealt with side and so an example of rust there is the screw which fixes it to the side of the body that's rusted in half. Not a very important item but it uh, just goes to show that it, if it's got metal in it it can rust. Anyway let's see about this seat belt bolt.
clearing up. 